हेलो एवरीवन नमस्कार आदाब सत श्रीकाल हाउ आर यू टुडे आई एम डॉक्टर परमजीत एंड यू आर वाचिंग डॉक्टर एजुकेशन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल एंड दिस इज फिटनेस एंड न्यूट्रिशन वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ वेरी कंट्रोवर्शियल टॉपिक टुडे एंड दिस इज अबाउट प्रोटीन्स राइट इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन फिटनेस न्यूट्रिशन देन यू ईट अ लॉट ऑफ प्रोटीन्स एंड यू वरी वेदर दैट प्रोटीन इज गेटिंग actually absorbed in the body how much of it is being used in actual muscle development right so you must have heard about biological value of that protein right it's uh, nitrogen absorption it's basic efficiency right it's digestibility so what are these terms right is it important is it not important right to know about protein digestibility what is the basic science behind it see if we talk about biological value of any protein biological value is the percentage of the absorbed protein which is used by your body as to make proteins right so if you eat something basically proteins are absorbed in the form of amino acid and those amino acids are then used to form proteins in the body and not just muscles right they are used to form all kinds of protein right including your hairs your nails your skin your organs right every organ has some part which is developing developing in the sense which is renewing right like your skin renews every 28 days your hair grows right same way there is a little little regeneration in every most of the organs if i remember so this biological value actually does not even consider the protein getting digested or absorbed right that process is not even considered this is all talking about the absorbed protein whatever has already been absorbed and reached your blood now that protein is how much of that is being used by your body and how much goes in waste now how is that calculated these guys basically calculate the nitrogen level because uh, mostly the main source of your uh, body is nitrogen or proteins right so they assume that no nothing else gives you nitrogen but there are some things but for that matter they use this uh, coefficient basic factor so they th- they see what are the food products which have protein so how readily a uh, protein is used for protein synthesis in your body right and not just muscle okay that's but basically obviously most bodybuilders use this as a uh, you know as a factor to choose their dietary proteins that's why the these biological values have two basic uh, units one is a true percentage and another one is a percentage which is related to egg so if you compare uh, the true percentage that means uh, x number of uh, protein is absorbed and reached the blood so that is a u that is actually the absorbed protein then some amount of protein is excreted so that some amount is excreted that means rest of that has been used and obviously it has been used by your body to make proteins all right so that is the value here but the problem is that this biological value has great where uh, you know it varies greatly all right it has many factors which play a, lo- a lot of uh, role here because protein digestibility and absorption has not been taken into count so uh, preparation matter food preparation matters your diet plan matters your diet if your maybe you know if some way or the other uh, if you cook food uh, too much its digestibility increases but quality of proteins amino acids they can get denatured right so you might not actually uh, use that protein that well to uh, make muscles then if you talk about diet 
you might be deficient in some vitamin sometimes nutrients so actually because of that deficiency your absorption might be uh, hampered delayed your digestive system might be affected so you you might be unwell as a the digestive process might be unwell because of your diet plan then amino acid profile matters right that means in order for your body to make something from those proteins your body needs all the nine amino acid nine essential amino acids there are 22 amino acid which we have already seen last time in the first episode and this time in this series uh, science of supplements we are talking about biological value of proteins so the way talking about amino acid nine amino acids are needed for your body if uh, maybe some are present some are not then again there is a rate limiting factor that means your body will not have enough protein to make it then your age matters as you age your digestion process your usability of proteins they slows down your metabolic uh, rate matters if you are not active if you are obese your metabolism slows down digestion slows down usability slows down so there are so many variables that's why this biological value by itself is not reliable and it's not used also but still people tell you about biological value have been telling you but there are so many more parameters like this to actually see which a food product is a better source of protein for example there are other uh, old parameters which are not used now like net protein utilization like protein efficiency ratio nitrogen balance ratio protein digestibility ratio and the most latest parameter is right protein digestibility uh, corrected amino acid score this is actually the latest uh, this thing value which is used to actually quantify which protein food source is best or not right and there is one more even better because this actual thing protein uh, digestibility and corrected amino acid score actually takes in account of the digested and absorbed protein into your whole intestine whole of their intestine that's why it is better than biological value and there is one more thing one more thing one more thing which is now uh, getting developed which is diaas right that is diaas this not has been developed but right now we will just talk about uh, that pdcaas protein digestibility correct amino acid score so what is the biological value of protein people say that whey protein has biological value of 104 and that is in comparison to egg egg has 100 so if egg is 100 that is the best uh, absorbable protein that uh, whey protein is 104 but the true value is actually 96 only 96 that means still uh, 4 percent of whatever whey reaches your blood will go into waste right it will not get absorbed like that then soy has 96 true value then uh, uh, milk has 95 uh, any uh, human milk has 95 uh, soy milk has 91 cow milk is 90 egg has 94 these are all true values not the as compared to egg value right true value matters more as if you are actually looking at biological value then fish has 76 uh, beef has 74 and uh, rice 83 beans 64 tofu 64 wheat whole wheat is 64 and uh, wheat uh, flour the atta which you take is only 41 right but if we actually see uh, the other values compared to egg are different a little different right you can see this list and uh, if we actually talk about protein digestibility uh, corrected amino acid score the list changes a little bit because obviously now the variables are less now we are taking into consideration the whole digested amount of proteins into your intestines so here whey protein uh, soy protein milk all kind of milk egg all are one they have digestibility of one that means they all are equal milk soy whey eggs are all equal so you can actually use them all then uh, this is the list which I am giving you for P 
PTC, AAAS, you can see many things else like rice, you can see as uh, like wheat, you can see it has similar 84, then beef, you can see it has similar 92 rather, it has more. So this is actually the list for reference. So here what I need to tell you is that the previous uh, thought process of many fitness experts or bodybuilders is absolutely wrong for biological values because biological value is so variable it cannot be trusted. So here the idea is to actually eat good quality and good quantity of protein. The quantity matter that's it. The rest of the things are not so important but still if you want to eat high quality and good digestible proteins then you need to see the PDCAA S value of that protein in this chart here. So this is all about protein digestibility. Make sure to have good 1.2 to 1.7, 1.8 gram per kg body weight of protein daily divided into 5-6 doses. That is very important, right? So stay connected guys. We'll be discussing more on proteins and other supplements with facts, right? And good science here. Thank you so much for watching. Stay connected. Stay healthy.